Hey everyone, so welcome back to the second part of the WooCommerce series tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn how you can generate an invoice, a PDF invoice and a packing slip that you need to put on the delivery package. So the courier company can deliver it to the your customer address. So by default, WooCommerce do not offer you an option of a PDF invoice or packing slip. So for this, we will need to use a different plugin. So first thing you have to do is log into the WordPress admin area here and then go to plugins, go to add new from here, search for a plugin called PDF invoice. And if you cannot find the plugin in the search as there are a lot of plugins, I will put a link to it in the description. So this is the plugin we need, WooCommerce PDF invoice and packing slips. Click on install now. Now activate this plugin. So you can see here the plugin has been activated. Now go to WooCommerce here and now you will see a new option called PDF invoices. Click on it. Now you will have to do some basic configuration. So in the general tab, first you will see there are some more premium extensions also available. But for most users, you can use it perfectly with the free version. So in the first option, if you want the customer to be able to download the PDF by default or the PDF should open in a new tab, then I would recommend you to keep this at default only. Open the PDF in a new browser tab. Okay. And in template. So we are using the free version and we have only one template option. So if you want more, you will have to buy the premium extension. Then next you will have to select the paper size. So you can either select A4 or letter. Okay. Now do not take this test mode when you want to use it on your live site. Use it only when you are having any trouble with sending emails. So this is the most important thing to set our header logo. Click on set image, then select file. So as you can see, I have uploaded my logo here and then click on set image. So our logo has been uploaded. Now the most important thing is to put your shop name, shop address and any terms and condition or policy like no return or something that you want to put. You can put those here. After filling your details, scroll down and then click on save changes. Now let's go to the next tab here, documents. Here first let's set up the invoice settings. So first tick this option, make sure this is ticked, enable. And then you can you can select where you want this PDF invoice to be attached. So if you want this invoice to be sent to the customer when you complete the order, you can take this option. Or if you want this invoice to be sent to the customer ASAP when they place the order, then you will have to select this option processing order. OK, so I want to send this invoice when I have completed the order, uh, checked everything and make sure that I have things in stock and then when I mark it as complete, then I want this invoice to be sent. And if you want the shipping address to be visible on the invoice, you can select this always only when different from billing address. So I will select always. I want to display the phone number here, customer notes. And here in invoice date, I want to display the order date here. And if you want to display the invoice number, you can select this option or you can uh, select no. Now scroll down and click on save changes. Okay, so let's configure packing slip also. Here first make sure it is ticked. Yes. Then yes, I want to display the billing address also. Also the phone number and any customer notes. Then click on save changes. Okay, so we have configured everything. Now I will place a demo order and let's see if we are getting the PDF invoice. As you can see, I have placed an order for demo and I have selected different billing address and shipping address just to show you how it will look. So here you can see in the street, I have selected your billing address and in shipping address, I have selected ship shipping address. Now let's check my inbox to see if I got the PDF invoice. Let's go here and here I just got these two emails. So you can see here this is a new order. And this is the order details and there is no PDF invoice right now. And in the second email also, there is no PDF invoice. And this is because we have not completed the order. So let's complete the order. Go to the WordPress dashboard here. 
let's go to orders and here you can see this is the latest order i just placed so let's mark it as complete okay now let's go to our inbox again and see if we got any new email so you can see we just got this email and it has a pdf attachment also let's open it and let's scroll down and here you can see there is a pdf attachment here is our logo and this is our website name and shop address and here is the invoice this is the customer details a customer billing address shipping address invoice date order number order date and payment method and the product here and any customer notes also included here and in the footer area you can also see the message that we set earlier now let's see how we can generate the packing slip for that let's go to the wordpress dashboard here after updating the order status to complete just scroll down and on the right side bar here you will see this create pdf option so there are two options pdf invoice and pdf packing slip so we need the packing slip to ship our order so just click on this option here and it will open it in a new tab as we selected earlier and here is the packing slip so, so you can see it is very similar to the invoice here is our logo our shop address and name and packing slip so this is the customer shipping address so and billing address order number order date and shipping method here and product name and uh, any customer note so this is how you can simply generate pdf invoice and packing slip to ship your orders to your customers i hope you guys found this video useful i hope this didn't became too long and that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video